What is happening in Ghana ahead of the big day December 7th elections? Prophets are speaking, pastors are speaking, and the truth is here. What is exactly going on? What will exactly go on on December 7th? Prophet Uzi Bempa has given his verdict. Prophet Uzi Angel has given his verdict, sorry. Prophet Clement testimony is also on the chopping board. Um, Bishop Ajinasari is also on the chopping board. And Lord Hina Mahama have been spoken about by Prophet testimony and Mahama himself. El Bernard, Prophet El Bernard is also on the chopping board. Guys, let's look at what is exactly going on in Ghana. Eke Adongo is also passed on. And he is also occupying the number three on the ballot. What is exactly going on? What is happening? Let's go. Let's go. American Secretary of State? Uh, yeah, American Secretary of State. Or you, you know, the American Secretary of State is the third most powerful person in America. And he sent a letter to Ghana. And now Asuma Eya Kratebi Abba Ghana. That anybody who will create problems for our democracy. So be be a road or how be baba yeah kabi mami can be a mamuimunu. They can't get an American visa to travel. Omun to me nya a ya America visa M fan to coin. And they are going to link up with other nations. No money a man my can so ever can boom. Now the American Secretary of State doesn't speak like that. Now American Secretary of State in you know, on if he speaks like that, then it means that there are things they know that we don't know. And so you and I are going to pray that for any plan of the devil to derail our democracy, it will, it will not happen. I said there will be signs before the, you know, that will prove the one that is going to do what? Uh, win and sit. All right. I saw in the place of prayer the day after they picked the stuff. And then, um, you know, she turned the, her number, the woman, when she was showing the number, I think the third number, she turned it. And they were telling her, oh, you have turned it and all that. And when they turned it, she turned it again. Are you with me? So those of you who are very prophetic, you, you know what I'm trying to say. That was the sign. Oh, they are saying. <laughs> It's very prophetic. That was the sign. So it, it got me, you know, the signal, and I wrote it down, that that's the three that has been turned will be turned upside down. And then I had weak spirit, and I had that left. So there were, I told some people that there are going to be, you know, uh, strikings in the atmosphere. Anybody with a, a weak spirit will be hit. Anybody that has a weak spirit will be what? Will be hit. And it must be done prophetically, strategically, Per the calendar and some other stuff. All right. That being said, um, this is a sad news, but it has a very prophetic connotation and understanding and a correlation with the coming what the coming uh, election. However, um, it may try to affect you know what uh, the Lord wants to do. Let me be very open. It may try to affect what the Lord wants to do, but the will of God will still stand. Let me make that emphatic because I have entered the spirit when the news came that the woman has left. I said, okay, fine. So what the Lord was telling me has happened. But it, God's counsel will still do what? It will stand. Because this is it's just like, I think, one day or two days to November. We are entering into November. Are you, are you with me? So in November, there will be a major shift also for somebody else. There will be a major shift that would favor somebody. The whole election will be decided in the month of November. In November, there will be a major shift. There will be a major shift. And the glory of God will speak. So back to the woman. Um, back to the woman, Mama Ikea. I saw that her spirit was down and weak. And then the day they went to do the IPAC meeting also, and I think there was a day that she was saying she was going to sue um, John Mahama or something. Uh, you know, I saw a very funny video of that. Like uh, one trillion or one billion or something like that. You know, all the things that she was saying prophetically, you know, should I tell you this? Prophetically, she was speaking something. She was declaring something. Are you with me? <laughs> the prophetic people will understand it. She was declaring something. That I'll see you, Muhammad. I'll see you, Muhammad. So the whole thing is that um, 
prophetically the, the woman, you know, already had ten things upside down. But the fact that your people may move is that you didn't tell her you're going to the wheel. In the army, your me only move call December twenty December twenty 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 four the seventh. No move the yatu aba. No move the yaka na aba ne we. No move the yaka na aba ne we no. Gana for two aba ne mo obi opa watu aba ne we no. Do do nanga sa watu ma is excellent your mama. Now, what county we are no so we declared on the way we now not a moon that was so any in into my moon into if people come to the realm, they will know what God is saying, not that God is so. This election, this is what I have seen. I saw who P or Betcham or Wim, but me knew what I can't debate about what they have seen. They are entitled what they are seeing. I'm entitled to what I have seen. That's what I make it there in San Jinin. What's to call who's a never come out so in on yet a but up and about how I can be a how I can be a different you there because we assume it there. Prophet be your becker and Yamiaka, some Yamen okay. Let me chat on Yazibi a prophet Bekebian and Yamiwaka. No one walk. Obi, not so can I do natural West and Yamaka and Yamen okay. See, Sarah, and go for your spirit to do so. Mereba, and go for why walk or part of Hoka Sama or Chedawanaka. The fact that they are in the room with you doesn't mean that whatever they say outside, you said it. Hear this. And I understand perhaps there were areas. And let me just explain to you something. I don't blame nobody for anybody for not calling me. I don't blame that. Because his son actually went to our ministry in, uh, in London. He's, a friends, he's friends with Sia. So... Perhaps in that line, he thought he had conducted me. The chief of staff called me. Perhaps in that conducting me, they thought they had conducted me. But I told them exactly that if your boss does not call, it's already signed, sealed, delivered to Baumia. So here it is. Ten days. And I had seen it. You know why God wanted Mahama? Very simple. He literally told me it wasn't just about his voice. He is the Christian side of it. He said, I have a hint in what Ghana is doing. And I've used the Ghana to spread my mandate around the world. And it rests in a certain location and position that God has put it and said, Ghana is a leader when it comes to spiritual matters. That people would give another country the credit and say, this is the one. He said, this is why I put the prophetic deep in Ghana. He said, from ages past, I did it. Because I set it as a watcher when it comes to the prophetic. From the ages beyond, before I moved things around the world and spread the prophetic, I started with anchoring it with Ghana. The prophecies, people, somebody was mentioning it was Moses hearing for, and he, he came here. God has de defined the thing and explained it. All this is by the move of, of the Holy Ghost. So I, 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 I just came to say, that, Oh, I'm sorry, but God has led me to now to what to speak or say for the one He has shown me. So as for your mama, dear, I am, I am with him, eh? I'm with him until he when they put the crown on his head on the day, then I, I'll say, My work is done. First part of the work is done. Then I'll bring him the new work. Or what God, God said, I should give him a message after he has been what? Installed. Yes. In the moment, what, what, the things that he has to do. So the apology was for the people who love my ministry. I'm not saying I'm sorry. I'm just saying that. Uh, have, uh, you forgive me, but I have to do it. That's what I'm trying to say. Forgive me, but what? I have to continue to say that the Mahama is coming. Uh -huh. But I want to. Let you know that I'm doing it as I'm led, not by any manipulative way or, or, or that. God bless you. And the Lord do what? The Lord keep you. Amen. Pa. I, I saw some pastors and uh, uh, people who took my video on YouTube, TikTok, and other things. They were saying, oh, the man is saying sorry. The man is no, I'm not saying sorry. <laughs> I said, JM is coming. If I come to change the word now, it means that I have lied to you. Even the day before we posted that video, that done, the wife came to my 
vision. I saw it. Mama Lordina invited me home. He said, Prof, come. When I went, they were cooking. He said, please take over. So I took the, sh- I moved the chef off and I went to the kitchen and I was cooking. Something like some pancakes. Be. I was cutting the edges in the vision. And I, when I came out, I knew what that means. Uh, if I see her, I'll tell her what that means. I'm empowered. So that I saw that vision before the next day. We even posted that video. So I'm saying that for JMD, he's coming. Because that's what God has done, what has showed me. God. You see, Prophet of the Angel came in, gave series of prophecy on three occasions or four occasions, I believe. Now, he says there is a chance for Muhammad. So now, the battle is the Lord's. It's also there. Baumia is there. And um, no, Baumia is it, it is possible, right? It is possible. And uh, Mama also says to a better Ghana, right? And what is actually happening? Edin Asari also came in saying that, okay, now the U.S. Secretary of State, which happens, who happens to be the third, you know, powerful person in the United States, I saw this thing on Twitter, uh, issued, you know, a statement saying that, now, nah, look, you see, he sees that people want to temper, people of higher authority, higher positions, want to temper with the democracy we have. Guys, who is exactly tempering with the democracy we have in Ghana, in this country? And this Secretary of State, Ajina Sari also said, this Secretary of State wouldn't just issue any statement on a lighter note. It means they have seen what we have not seen. Right? And that is very scary. And people who have to, who can only temper with our, you know, democracy are people of parliament the executive, the judiciary, and, you know, all of these people, okay? I mean, I'm just a civilian, in quote, civilian. And so, what did I do to have tempered with, you know, our democracy? I've done nothing. People of power are those who can temper with democracy. Are you getting a picture? Because we have putting some people there to occupy these higher positions to make sure that our voices are heard. And so these people have occupied a higher position to what have tempered with us or help us grow as a, as a country. You get what I mean? Now, Lordina Mahama is also on the tongue of prophet testimony. And Mahama himself is also on the tongue of prophet testimony. Prophet testimony is also saying, hey, I didn't say I'm not going to give the elections prophecy again in favor of, shouldn't be in favor, that's not the word. The word I have seen, the vision is about, prof, uh, is about sorry, President, ex-president Mahama coming back to power. And I'm not changing my mind. I'm just saying, look, my child folks, some support the MPP, some support the NDC, some support other parties and other independent candidates. But listen, forgive me, God is saying it's Mahama and I'm not changing my mind. He's not changing his mind about anything. That's what prophet testimony is also saying. So prophet testimony is saying, it is Mahama and Mahama again and Mahama again. No Baumia. Baumia is totally losing the, on the election. Now, Clement testimony. That's what prophet Clement testimony is having to say. And El Bernard also came in to explain um, what he said about Ghana elections and him not caring about what other prophets are saying because whatever any other prophet is saying is what that prophet believes he's heard from God. And so if uh, El Benan is saying Mama is winning and Prophet Kusi Bwati is also saying, you know, Mom, uh, Baumia is going to win, then that's what he heard. Case closed. Now, Ekan no is also in the news feed. He passed on a couple of days, two days ago or something like that. Yeah. And what is actually happening? They're not Ekia don't call prophet testimony explained that Ekia don't call um whatever happened about Ekia don't call passing on. He wrote the prophecy, he wrote some details, information about that. He's, you know, if you watch this very careful, you will know, right? I'm just trying to, you know, put everything together, whatever you've seen in all of these videos, and put it at this particular side of the video. So you get like a recap. In my own voice, right? Because that's what a breakdown is supposed to be about. You just don't post raw content, you will get in trouble, right? So, Ekadonko, 
They have given him number three, hair, sorry, hair number three. She was holding the material and she turned it upside down. They tried fixing it for her. She turned it upside down again. This woman is not ready for the you know competition. So Prophet Testimony also wrote on his book, or sorry, her book that what um the woman is very weak. And she passed. So um is Mahama going to be shifted from the number eight to number seven? Prophet claim a testimony saying some things must happen in the atmosphere that is going to really, really confirm that Mahama is winning the election. And is it going to be the MPP act? Even politics in Africa is as nonsensical. Some of the, 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 the approaches are it's very nonsensical. How is somebody moving from number eight to number seven? People are happy. Most of MPP, you know, guys are happy. They are like, wow. They are going to move from number eight and all that bullshit, bro. But I'm not a political person. I don't care about the MPP. Neither do I care about the NDC. I'm trying to do my job right here, giving you the information that you need to know about. So that is what is going on on the, you know, in Ghana, with regards to December 7th election. Guys, make sure you subscribe, share, like this video. My name is Chodan Nixon. I love to break down gospel messages like this. Who is winning? Prophet Uber Angel says, Mahama, sorry about my phone. Prophet Uber Angel said, Mahama. Prophet Clint, uh, Clement Testimony says, Mahama. And Ajin Asari was praying for us. And uh, also left. So, the number three, what is going to happen to the number three? It means to say number three will be eliminated. So, number eight moves from number eight to number seven. It's crazy. I'm out, guys. Make sure you subscribe. I'm out.